So now, let's start first of all. You've passed. What's next? There are many different options, basically, if you've passed. Uh, the obvious option is obviously that you want to go to a higher, edu you know, higher education se um, institution. There are many different higher education um, institutions, hence I did not specifically say go to a university because you'd have a university, you'd have a college. Sometimes people, they will interchange those terms to get, they use them interchangeably that um, a college is a university or a university is a college. But the basic difference between is that a college is more focused basically, you know, in education and practical experience, whereas a university is more focused into like, you know, the academic side of what you're doing. So for an example, if I can pick any, you know, career in, um, you know, out of the box, like let's say you want to become an artist or let's say you become a filmmaker, at the university, they will teach you basically how to, you know, like from the history of cinema, where it started, the filmmaking, basically the academic side of filmmaking. But if you go to another high um, higher learning center, um, especially which is like an FAT college, which is more focused, let's say, on filming, um, there you'll get all the practical experience that you need, um, where they show you how to work a camera, how to do sound, how to do editing, you know, how to even do lighting, not this basic thing that I'm using here. Um, so there's all these kinds of different things that you can do. So hence why, you know, I always, I never use the word hate because hate is such a strong word, but I hate the, you know, this notion that, oh, colleges are inferior to universities or basically when you group all of them like the FET which we call them the further education training centers that are inferior to universities not really because yeah we're not comparing apples to apples basically this is like apples to oranges or apples to grapes depending on what kind of fruit that you like or if you don't like fruit at all then yeah <laughs> I don't know but basically what I'm trying to say is that you know then if you've passed, you can be either saying that, okay, I'm very good, for an example, in I, I want to become an academic one day, or I want to, you know, I want to do a degree. And so degrees, you usually do them um, at universities. Um, also, again, they're more academically focused than they are practical, where you get practical experience. Again, there's pros and cons for both of those. and. Uh, especially in the fast moving world, sometimes it's better to have practical experience than um, more academic experience, especially if you want to go into a corporate world or you want to go to a, um, basically a field where you're gonna be hands-on. Um, so it also, again, depend on what you want to achieve at the end of it. So again, this is not a, um, a career advice video. This is not a, financial advice or all this I'm not a professional in what I'm doing I'm just sharing my life experiences um, so hence actually this is like the pilot episode of what um, this is about because I said to myself I need to do this because of basically this the big day that we're currently in you know and then also again uh, so another difference again with between also the FET colleges and the universities is that FET colleges actually in terms of um, finances they're usually much more affordable uh, than a university equivalent because universities might charge you for example um, especially the institution that I'm with can charge you upwards of up to 90,000 to 100,000 rand for a, a course basically your degree and an FAT college can charge you like 20,000 rand. Other universities can also charge you like up to 20, like between 10 and 20,000 rand or even higher than that. So there's also finances that you also need to look into when you are, um, you want to try, you know, like when you're looking for basically a school as to where you want to go. Um, so again, you're not limited to South Africa. If you can afford it or have the means, you can also look at, you know, other institutions around the continent or around the world basically so that's all up to you so again thirdly there's also this notion that I just want to clear up also again do not be fooled Colle um, FET colleges um, are not inferior to universities again as I've said before 
we are comparing two different um, institutions here. So people might say that, like, don't be this, like, for example, if you applied at the university and you did not get in, but you get in at the college, don't be like, oh, like, yeah, man, I know it's gonna be hard. You know, you want to be with your friends, or you feel like you disappointing your family that you're not in at a whatever the university that you want to. It's again, it's part of life. It doesn't mean actually just because you're rejected now. Um, you cannot apply again and get in and sometimes rejection when if you are rejected at a highest um, learning center this is like a tongue twister if you get rejected basically at a higher learning center or higher learning ins institution it, it does not necessarily mean okay the obvious one is that maybe you don't meet the academic requirements um, secondly it's just that there's too many people that are applying so for example most universities would have, let's say, about 5,000 or 4,000 spaces for new students coming into the university. Then you find out that they receive about 50,000 applicants. So obviously, that pushes also the entrance requirements even higher. Um, so that's when then there's also, you know, that notion that people who have access to, me, like, for example, to internet application forms very quickly or for an example access to good schools that provide you know um, all the equipment and uh, kind of teaching that you want you are at an advantage of getting in at the university at a university or any other higher learning center than someone basically who's still first struggling how to because you'd find that someone is because uh, again there's no one who's dumb you find that someone is very good at, you know, academics, let's say mathematics or physics. But then people will judge this person by not being able to use a cell phone or a computer, not knowing that this person, uh, most of their life, actually, most of their lives, this is actually the first time they're actually experiencing, like, you know, sitting in front of the computer. So there's this thing of always we want to laugh at people for not being able to do something. Trust me. Not everyone is a jack of all trades. There are things that you cannot do, no matter how clever even, Al for example, Albert Einstein. He could not drive. <laughs> then you'd find someone who was maybe not as considered as a genius, but is a very good driver. So there's also that to consider.